Sagittarius. Hello, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind, my readings are general, may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, you guys, let's see what is going on with you. Spirit, please tell me what's going on. What is going on with the Saggies? All right, Sagittarius. First card out we have is children. It says your love life is being affected by them kids, okay, by a kid, okay, whether it's your kid, they kids, they are the kid, you are the kid, there's a kid involved, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Religious factors, okay? So there is something here about your outlook on a situation and how far you are going to let someone go or how far you are going to go to have something or someone as well. Spirit is saying it's safe for you to love. So maybe... There's a situation here that is um, making you question your morals. It's like, would I allow myself to go through this? Or would I allow somebody to put me through this? Would I allow this to happen? Spirit is saying, ask your friends. Because I feel like a lot of this is you may be thinking something is going too far. Or you're doing too much and you're not. Or you may be feeling like someone is not doing enough. And maybe they're not supposed to be doing that. It's you. Let's just see. Spirit, please tell me what's going on with Sagittarius. What is the energy for Sagittarius, Spirit? What is the energy for Sagittarius? What is the energy for Sagittarius, Spirit? All right, Sagittarius. So we have the Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Tower card. Someone is not willing to give the same amount as you are, and they're telling you that. Like, I can't I can't do more, or um, this person is very blunt about the fact that they're not going to do more, okay? And I feel like this is why you're sitting here like, is this right? Am I supposed to be? Maybe you want this person to do more, and they're like, no, or I did enough, or maybe this, this person is also stubborn, and they don't want to be told what to do either. It's like you're trying to find a way to work with this person, but this person may be a bit arrogant. They may be a bit of an asshole. This person feels like nobody can tell them what to do. Nobody can move them type of shit. They have to move their self. Yeah, Ace of Wands could be a fire sign. A lot of fire sign energy here. Aries, Leo, with Sagittarius as well. This person feels like they're the ones that's in control. They are the one that wear the pants in the relationship or the panties with the good pussy. Like, this is that type of energy. Like, either it's a man who feels like they wear the pants and, you know, the pants are supposed to run the house. Or this is a bitch with good pussy who feels like she should run everything. And with the Knight of Wands, this person also feels like they can run in your life as well okay so let's see what does this person want with you then so what did they what the fuck did they do want <laughs> what do you do want so spirit tell me how this person really feels about my Sagittarius also tell me what their um let's just see what they want how do they feel first how does this person feel about Sagittarius how does this person feel about Sagittarius spirit Page of Cups, the Death card, the Tower. This person wants some sort of change. I feel like they... <sighs> Tell me more. Tell me more. This person wants you to change your attitude before they walk away. It's like they want to make something solid and stable and committed. They see themselves doing it, but they feel like you are a bitch or they feel like you're too controlling, too demanding, too overbearing. And, um, they don't like that. Okay. Again, they want you to know who the fuck the king is. You may be the queen, but bitch, I'm the king. So it's like both of y'all have really bad attitudes when it comes to the egos, who has the bigger dick energy. Okay. Now with this eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, mixing with this eight, um, eight of cups, it's like, this is conflicting energy. I want to work on it, but I will walk away. This is almost like an ultimatum. So somebody may be giving somebody an ultimatum. This person may be giving you an ultimatum. Either fix your attitude or bitch, I'm out. And I feel like this happens a lot, but let's see. This time, this person may be serious. 
yeah, Ace of Swords, this person is serious. They're like, if you don't fix your mind and really, if you don't fix your mind or work on your attitude or how you talk to me or how you act, I'm not coming to fuck back. Somebody is tired of how you talk to them. Maybe your delivery was wrong. Okay. So let's see what this person's plans and actions are. What is this person plans and actions for my Sagittarius? What is this person's plans and actions for Sagittarius? What is this person's plans and actions for Sagittarius spirit? What is this person's plans and actions for Sagittarius? Eight of Cups in reverse. See, they not going nowhere right now. Right now, you're safe, okay? Until the next round, the Nine of Pentacles, but they're going to act like they're single. <laughs> or maybe it's... <laughs> It's like this person's not going anywhere, but they may have broken up with you. They may have said, you know, I'm done with you type shit. They may be out here acting single, but they're coming right the fuck back. Temperance. Yeah, two of swords. I feel like they don't know what to do with you, but they don't want to leave you alone. They see you as somebody that they want to be with. Ace of swords. They, yeah, this person wants to be with you. This is somebody who likes to bluff you, bluff you, okay? They're going to bluff the fuck out of you. They may really leave you, but they're not going anywhere. Eight of cups in reverse. But I feel like they're trying to scare you because they, they don't want to be, they don't want you to be the one to wear the pants in a relationship Sagittarius <laughs> they don't want you to feel like you have the big dick energy but you do okay <laughs> all right so let's see spirit please give me the outcome what is the outcome for Sagittarius what is the outcome for Sagittarius spirit outcome for Sagittarius all right so we have the judgment card need to make a decision Okay, about whether or not you're going to let this person back in, okay? Because I feel like right now you're being stubborn. Queen of Pentacles is like, okay, now I'm going to worry about myself, bitch. And <laughs> this person is like, oh, my God, here she go again. This is your attitude that you need to work on, Sagittarius, okay? So let's see. What is the um, advice? The Temperance, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so I feel like you do need to take time apart from this person, okay? If they decided to walk their ass out the door, I feel like you should make them fight to get the fuck back in. This ain't no in and out revolving door. Don't play with me, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all are a mess. And that's crazy because, you know, my... um. My rising is in Sagittarius, and if my ex comes back, I'm damn sure going to give him a run for his money because, bitch, don't play with me. It says, you are the best thing that ever happened to you. Go easy on your ass. Buy your own damn drink. All right, so thank you.